What's up guys, Jason here and welcome to my first FIFA 21 player review. Now I haven't done one of these videos in around 8 or 9 months, it's been a long ass time. Um, but I'm back now and I'm going to hopefully be uploading a lot more consistent this year. FIFA 20 just wasn't it for me, I just didn't enjoy the game so I didn't really play it much. Um, that's why I had a lack of uploads. Also I was trying out different stuff, you know I have a few of the things to do on the side as long as YouTube. Um, so in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the 86 rated Paul Pogba card. Now he's got a downgrade this year from an 88 to an 86, but his stats are still pretty similar and he is still that same sort, you know, very strong, physical, good dribbling, good passing, good shooting kind of centre mid. So moving on to the in-game stats now, he's only got the 66 acceleration, but he does have around 84 sprint speed with the chem style on him or with the basic boost. Shooting again, not too bad. Finishing isn't the greatest at 75, but those long shots and shot power make up for it. Passing absolutely insane across the board. Then he's dribbling again, very good apart from that 66 balance. Defending, not too bad, not the worst though. And then his physical is obviously very good. And he has a load of traits such as the flare trait, playmaker, outside the foot shot, um, and a load of other ones as you can see there. So guys, this has been the in-game stats. Now let's get into the highlights. So starting off the highlights now for 86 rated Pogba, the first pro I could find with this card was his strength. Now this is probably to be expected with this card, you know, looking at those in-game physical stats, he is a very, very strong player and you can definitely feel that in the game, in the shoulder to shoulder battles, um, you know, when tracking back, he can easily push players off the ball while he's also helpful. So he may not have the, you know, the best defensive stats, but his physical stats definitely make up for it and definitely make him more of a defensive player than he would have been, say, if he had low physical and still the same defending that he does have so after that the next pro with this card was his ball control now this guy's ball control is unreal he reminds me of someone like Zidane um, it's just not quite as smooth it's a bit more clunkier and a bit more slower than Zidane but when it comes to ball control these are two very similar cards and of course they play the same position um, if you do have I think it's the baby icon Zidane card um, so yeah really really good player keeps it so close to his feet what's really good for scaling in tight spaces or just in general dribbling and keeping the ball close to his feet so he doesn't get dispossessed easily and you know when players do try and dispossess him obviously he can use his strength and a physical to push the players off the ball and then the final pro with this card was his passing again Pogba's range of passing is incredible um, his crossing isn't the best but apart from that you know his long passing his short passing um, you know medium range passing all of that kind of stuff is absolutely insane if you're looking for a player to play those three balls to your pacey strikers then Pogba will do an absolutely insane job at that the only real con I could find on this card was his acceleration. Now, as I said earlier, it's only 66. This guy isn't going to really be using his pace to beat players. He's more going to be using that strength, that tight ball control, that dribbling. Um, and obviously, if you do know how to utilize skills, um, you can use those as well. So yeah, his acceleration isn't the greatest. It's not the worst in the world either, but he just isn't really up there. Um, and I would have to put it down as a con because sometimes you can see the space, you want to run into it, but he's just not quick enough. Um, his sprint speed is decent once he gets up to speed and especially if you do add the correct chem style, um, he can do a decent job. But apart from that, acceleration isn't the best. Now, another thing I wanted to talk about is his free kicks. Now, as you can see here in this example, um, a really nice free kick into the top corner. Now, I scored a load of free kicks with Pogba. Um, and one thing I do want to mention is if you looked at the start of the video, you'd see he only scored five goals in five games. Um, and that was using the lone Pogba card. But I actually managed to pack him after. I got very lucky. Um, so I managed to pack him. So I played a load more games with him. And as you can see, I scored a lot more goals um, than five. And this guy's free kicks are unreal. Um, when originally doing the review with the lone card, I didn't really get too many free kicks. So I couldn't test it out. But I'll definitely put his free kicks as a pro for this card they are inch perfect um, and if you do want to see something like a free kick tutorial just tell me in the comment section below i don't usually do those sort of tutorials i mainly stick to skill moves but if you do want to see that again just comment it down below and it will definitely make one um, now a good another good thing about this card is his nationality and his league is obviously french he plays in the premier league where he's perfect for building hybrid squads you know you can link to high rated players you know maybe like martial or someone like that and you got yourself a really nice link up so when it comes to link up no problem at all you know icons obviously they link with everyone but um, even you know some of the French icons like Henri and Zidane and Dasai you know all these icons he gets a strong link to all of them 
Um, so yeah, just a really, really linkable player. And I do believe his foot champ's worthy. And for the price, around 200k, I do believe. Obviously, I packed him so I didn't buy him off the market. But I believe he's about 200k um, at the last time I did check on Xbox. Um, so if around 200k, one of the best centre midfielders in the early stages of the games, do I think is worth it? I'd probably say so. Um, you know, there's players like Valverde who are obviously a lot cheaper but don't have the skill moves. Um, and there's other players like Lorente and players like that. Obviously, they don't play in the Premier League and the Premier League does add some value to this card, of course. Um, but overall, I would say probably is worth it, especially for the five-star skills, what a lot of centre mids don't have on FIFA. And as you can see, especially for me, someone like a skiller, I can score some crazy, crazy goals with his cards. Um, now, some of these clips were recorded really early on within like the first couple of days of FIFA. And then some of them have been recorded, you know, weeks on. So the, the level of skill runs may vary a lot. You know, some of them may be average, some of them may be really good. Um, anyway guys, this has been the highlights, now let's get into the overview. So now moving into the overview for this 86 rated Pogba card, on the enjoyment scale I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10, a very solid and very fun card to use on FIFA. He has the 5 star score moves, he has the great free kicks, what of course is very fun, um, when you score free kicks they're obviously nice goals to score, um, shooting, passing great, physical great, so yeah a very fun card overall. Competitiveness, as I've already mentioned, probably one of the best centre mids on the game right now. Obviously, as the game progresses, there'll probably be better ones than him, than him for the 200,000 coin prize. Um, but I think at this stage of the game, you know, 200k for this card, and he definitely is foot champs worthy in my opinion. Plus, the link ups are perfect. Um, Skilling, 7.5 out of 10. You know, not the greatest balance, not the greatest agility, but outside that, a very solid skiller. So I think a fair overall rating and this early stage of FIFA is a 7.7. 75 out of 10 you know maybe if he gets a few special cards gets a bit better acceleration gets that dribbling boosted up in the balance and agility category this guy could probably be like an 8 8.5 um, but right now i'm going to give him a 7.75 i still think that's a very very solid rating for this early on in fifa you know usually i don't start giving out the higher ratings until later on um, when cards have you know a few special cards um, so yeah guys, this has been the review, if you enjoyed it and want to see more FIFA 21 player reviews on my channel, leave a like on the video and subscribe, my next video will probably be a Saint Maximum review and the goals are scored in that video are absolutely insane, if you thought the goals in this video were crazy, well the next video is going to be even better, so yeah, subscribe to the channel, thanks for watching and see you next time.